Hello guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to Let Code. So recently I got like a lot of comments and also like a lot of personal messages like why you have chosen just over the playwright test standard. So I think this is a good time to give you clarification and also like if you are going to watch this playwright uh, playlist from the very beginning, this will be very helpful to you. Okay. If you see the playwright version, right, the version I started to uh, make tutorial is basically like from the version 1.8, I believe, if I'm not wrong. Okay. So if you go to this playwright here, you can uh, see like uh, I have multiple repositories. One is for the Lambda test, for the Lambda test YouTube channel, I'm doing the playwright uh, TypeScript video. So you can check from there as well. And one another one is the framework that we started uh, recently. And this one is the playwright test runner, um, which is from the, yeah, that is the playwright test runner, like the recent, uh, all the tutorials. And then this one, right, playwright TypeScript gist. This is the one I started uh, initially. Okay, that time we do not have the uh, playwright test runner. So we have options like uh, Mocha, gist, ABA, and few other, I believe. Uh, just I think that's really cool and of course it has a lot of future comparing to other like Jasmine or the Mocha so I preferred just but when there is a there is an introduction of the playwright test runner which is like initially the code base is from folio okay so that time I have updated all the videos and I said and also I recommended to use the playwright test runner and not the just okay but as you going to start from the very beginning, of course, you will go through the playlist and from the very first beginning, there is a uh, just configuration and some people face issue in the configuration, in the timeout and mostly I try to reply, uh, like uh, definitely I give my reply. If I don't know, I say like I don't know. But now onwards, uh, the, you can watch those tutorial, okay? The concept is very same, only the configuration part and the way we are going to access the page object is going to differ other than that everything is very similar okay so here you can see like uh, about like 16 month or yeah 12 months like last year i started then only playwright test um, runner comes into the picture and i have updated the same if you go here here also you can see like uh, all these are basically like this 21 videos right this all these are like your uh with just okay but after that definitely i have changed you can go through the uh, recent playlist you will find all the things okay so what are the things you have to change in the sense like first of all you really don't need this just playwright configuration uh, just config.js and yeah these two files are not required okay so if we see here this is the um, uh, same code that i have taken from this test and inputs this is the file okay so this is the file that is with the typescript just um so same file i have copy pasted here i'm getting uh, error like describe before all and test okay the reason is like um i don't have the uh, just configuration in my package.json dependency is not there and configuration is not there okay so what are the changes are there from just to playwright test runner is very simple okay if you want to use the describe block you can make it like um test dot describe okay and of course you have to import the test from playwright test runner okay and before all uh, you have to say like test dot before all if you want to use it but this is not record so i'm going to comment this why it is not record in the sense like um, the chromium launch the new page the the context right so everything's are pre bundled i can say or it is basically a precondition of the playwright test runner itself the hooks hooks will kicks in so we don't want this okay so here i'll just cut this one i will copy and i'll just comment all this thing okay so we don't need this okay and here let's say that if you want to use the before each you can say like test dot before each or maybe like before all and then you can um have your code okay so wait page dot go to now what is page where the page will come in the sense like from the fixture right so here i can get it like um from here itself i can say like page okay so that's it very simple so here instead of creating all these objects and uh, doing all the stuff you can just call it that's it that's very simple it is okay and similarly like if you want to do it for the test just in the block you just add the page again that's it very simple thing okay don't uh 
like you, you really don't have to write so many codes here and test in the sense like of course it will run in each and every um, it is considered considered as an individual test that means like every time browser will launch okay so uh, in this test i don't want to do that then of course i have two options either i can merge all the code in a single test block or let's say that this appended text is going to be my um, separate test but i don't want a want to launch my browser again uh, rather i want to continue with the same session then of course you can go with like uh, wait test dot step and here you can give your description and then async not oh, yeah, yeah. okay so that's it now you give all the stuff here and oh, sorry here and this is guy this thing is going to be your uh, step name okay so that's it very simple like similarly you can do for each and everything and after all after all is not required as the uh, player test runner by default it will close the browser okay so that is the two or three things you have to do changes other than that just or the player test runner the runner is going to differ whatever the code we have learned like page dot uh, dollar or uh, page dot locator every, every concept is same so you can watch still the same playlist there is nothing wrong only thing you have to change is like instead of doing this stuff like uh, let browser context let page and using the page in other test just get it from the fixture that is this one and if you don't know what is fixture already i have a video you can check out that as well okay so that's it this is what i wanted to say it's very easy uh, play right now you might also ask me why are you going with player test and why not the just okay so there is also performance uh, differences there uh, just as slow comparing to player test runner and already i have defined i mean already i have told you several times like what are the benefits out of player test runner i have a uh, lot of videos on that okay so we can watch those as well okay so that's it from my side i hope this makes sense to you and it's clear still if you have any questions please Feel free to ask me in the comment. I'll be happy to reply. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one very soon. Bye-bye. Take care.